Hey guys, DPD here with Lucky, and we have another box from Japan Crate right here. Yay. So this is the New Year's edition Japan Crate. Every January, they come out with a box to celebrate the new year. On the back here, it says New Year in Japan. This is a really long blur, but I'm going to briefly read it. 2023 is the year of the rabbits, a year predicted to be full of excitement, prosperity, and surprises that run in all directions. Yeah. Cool. And then there's like a long paragraph. And so we're going to open this up. And uh, for those new to the channel or for, for you guys unfamiliar with what we do here, Pan Crate is a Japanese snack subscription box. They send you a box of wonderful Japanese snacks straight from Japan. It gets shipped from Japan and they give you a nice assortment of really awesome snacks. So if all that sounds interesting to you, you can go to japancrate.com and use code DPITY, that's P-I-D-D-Y, to save yourself $3 on your order. So what we do is uh, we basically try a uh, majority of the snacks in the box, the stuff that looks pretty yummy and delectable, and then we give Lucky the chance to rate them one out of five. So since it's the new year, and it's the year of the rabbits, Let's go rate these one out of five. Bunnies! Bunnies, okay, cool. I also cool. quickly want to talk about the box. I oh. like the, their New Year box. It has little bits of like their New Year traditions on it. So they have like the five end coin, they have fireworks, they have the bunny, they have Mount Fuji. They got a lot of really cool things that for them, you know, symbolize the new coming year. So that's really nice, nice touch. All right, so we're going to open this up and ta-da! So every Japan craze, oh look, look, it says, Happy New Year Yay. inside, yay! So every box comes with a little pamphlet here. Nicely decorated, again, Happy New Year with some bunnies at uh, the shrine. Pretty cool, awesome. You open it up and it gives you a list of all the snacks inside as well as nice descriptions to tell you what you're eating. What we usually do is we go straight down the list, we try them out and then yeah, we have her rate, rate them. So bunny. the first thing is the vinegar chips. I like vinegar chips, salt and vinegar is super there you good. Go. So oh, here yeah. is the uh, the bag right here. We're gonna have her open it up and try it out for herself. It looks very uh, lemon zesty. Oh yeah, it smells like salt and vinegar chips. Smells mm. good. Yep, salt vinegar, love it. All right. I get an easy five. I've always liked these kind of chips. It literally tastes like regular salt and vinegar chips. Yummy, yummy, yum. Next, we have the maple butter chocolates. What is that? That sounds interesting. Maple butter chocolate? That actually looks pretty good. Uh, oh. It looks, it looks like crushed Oreos or cookies and cream cookies that like a crush and put it into a bar and then they like drenched caramel on top of it. That's what it looked like. I don't know. I could be completely, that is absolutely a, wrong. Why does it look like a protein bar? <laughs> it Ew. It kind of oh, looks, looks a little better. It's like that. It looks wow, like a it miniature like, protein oh, bar. Sorry, it's very, there you go. It smells very much maple. Oh, that smells wow. so sweet. Oh. It actually looks pretty good though. It's like if Black Thunder was maple syrup based. Wow. All right. I, I Sounds pretty good to me. Very sweet. The bitter taste of noir chocolate and the gentle sweetness of maple are addictive and perfect for pairing with hot cocoa. Also. Oh, yeah. I need like a drink with this. Yeah. They, have, they recommend hot cocoa. What do you rate it? I got four. Okay. It's a little too sweet by itself, honestly. Got it. Got it. But pretty good. Next, we have the salty caramel puffs. No more caramel, please. Yeah. So this is all about caramel. Seems like that's the theme. So that Voila. is the caramel puff bag. Crunch on the sweetest caramel puffs of the season and take a short and salty snack break before you start making your New Year's goals. I don't like when they make sweet and salty. That's my only like peeve, so. I love sweet and salty. Yeah, by the way, I know uh, we, we got this box like on January 1st or 2nd, like very, very close to the New Year's. This video is going up basically at the end of the month. So uh, I know it sounds a little late, but happy New Year's. Happy guys. New Year's. Anyways, what, what, do, you, what do you think it's of good. the- Yeah? Actually, it's a, I can see where they might think like it's savory because of like the, the crackery bits. Okay. But I like, I it's not too overpowering. So I taste more of a sweet than the savory. So it doesn't throw me off. It's actually pretty good. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. I like it. Ah, uh, give that a four. All right, a four, another four for the box. Next up we have the chocolate chestnuts. I love chestnuts. So she loves chestnuts. Well, I don't know about the candy chestnuts. Here are, is a little chestnut bag. Here, it's like, a, looks like chocolate um, bars, but they're not bars. They're more like nuggets, chocolate nuggets. I don't know what to call them. Nuggets? Oh, they're letters. It's a, it's They've a, got letters on them. They're like cubed chocolate things. To you. It's not melted. It smells like, it smells like coffee. It smells like coffee. Is there coffee in there? 
Um, the perfect chocolate to eat by the warm fire where you can enjoy the harmony of warm Japanese chestnuts and cacao. So no coffee. Bitter? Oh yeah. Well, chocolate is actually bitter. Chocolate on its own is very, like cacao is actually pretty bitter. They add lots of sugar and I think uh, milk to make it sweet. Maybe because the chestnut is supposed to be sweet, they didn't want to add that much like sweetness to the chocolate to balance it. If you like coffee, you might love this thing. It's pretty good otherwise. I'd give it a three, mainly because I don't eat too much coffee flavored okay. things. So it's sure. not bad. All right, next up we have the Koala's Mart. <laughs> so this is a favorite. It's a staple in Asian snacks cuisine. Snack cuisine. It's a Japanese cuisine is Koala snack March? Cuisine. Snack, snack cuisine. Snack cuisine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, so Koala March. Uh, if you're an Asian person living in the United States and you go out to the Asian market, I'm sure you've seen the Koala March uh, chocolate biscuits in your grocery snack aisle. I can't open it! Perfect. Oh. Yeah, they're just koalas. Ah! You, just, you don't even show it to them. So uh, yeah, there's like... I don't know koala. There's koala prints on, the, uh, on each biscuit, so it's... Pretty fun for kids. Um, it's also fun they for adults. They just taste good. Yeah, they just they, 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 they taste good. Yeah. Easy five. They just taste good. Okay. Up next we have the Orion Mini Fresh Ramune. There you it's go. Cute. Let's look at that on the top. It's a little thing. Oh, it's more like a book. Mm -hmm. So the little like candies you just shake out. They're really small. You probably can't even see that. There you go. I missed. I missed. You totally dropped it. Oh, it's a powder candy. Powder candy? That tastes weird with the chocolate. Candies are pretty basic. It's just like a very, like, it's like a cream candy, but it's like powder. Three. It wasn't my favorite so far. I okay. It's okay. So a three. Up next, we have the del delivery car yeah. strawberry mint. Aww. So these candies come in like a little delivery car truck packaging thing. I've always liked. I've always liked the packaging. It's always fun. It's cute. Oh, so yeah, it's just literally little little baby balls. A miniature model of Japan's famous male couriers is here to deliver some strawberry mints. Strawberry, strawberry. I'm assuming strawberry strawberry mints. Is that a ch Ew. What are you doing? That was really bad. No? That was really bad. Maybe you weren't supposed to eat all that one time. It tastes like plastic. Okay. That's what a plastic strawberry toy would taste like. Mmm, okay. So... That was a one. Okay. It <laughs> was really bad. Alright, well... Next, please. Okay, up next we have the Panda and Piglet Mints. That better do something. There's two of them. There's a, there's a panda and a piglet. We got the, uh, the piglet, as you can see here. Pigs are cute. Yeah, pigs are cute. Pigs are very cute. They're also really cute when in the form of a bacon strip. That's terrible. <laughs> it looks more of the same. Look, I they're like so. The same. They're little balls, the little oh, mince balls. I don't know. Man. Did you just stick your tongue in the yeah. piglet? Oh, they're better flavor. Better. The better flavor. Okay. The this... flavor is better. It's too bunny. Okay. Nope. Chocolate ice cream marshmallow. Oh, is it like one of those like foam marsh? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Look oh. how cute that is. And then when you whip it out, it's a cone with. That kind of it's like a marshmallow, marshmallow that's cream. supposed to look like ice cream. That looks fun. I, I've never been a big fan of these. Oh, okay, okay. I don't really like marshmallow foam. Okay, so what do you rate it? A three. A three. All right, a three for the marshmallow ice cream chocolate thing. Uh, up next, we have the Gabrichu Soft Cola. Here you go. So get chewing on this refreshing cola flavored piece of long candy. It's perfect for a chewy snack before New Year's Eve festivities. This looks like a taffy. Oh, oh not, not taffy. Um, caramel. Uh, it's just brown. The color. I thought that was my tooth. Is it good? It's like the weird cola. What's a weird cola? Like the artificial cola. Isn't co cola like artificial though? Yeah, but it, it tastes like it tastes like candy. It is candy. <laughs> I could smell that. I could smell. Have you ever smelled like cola flavor before? Yeah, it That's... smells like how it tastes like how it smells. It okay. doesn't taste like how it tastes in a drink. Um, sure. I give it a four. Okay. 
Uh, up next, we have the Acorn Gum Cola. Acorn? So, uh, <laughs> this is the packaging for the Acorn Gum Cola. Um, we don't eat the gum on um, our, our videos here because we want to save that. Here it is. We're just going to let her have it later. Up next, we have the Petite Fortune Strawberry Milk. So, you've had very terrible luck with strawberry in this box so far. But these, uh, they look like, um, like... They look like pimples. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna say pimples. Anyways, here you go. Get your fix of strawberry milk with these cute flavorful chocolates. They also include your New Year fortune. Whip out a dictionary to see what's in store. So yeah, each uh, each one that you pop, there's like some text on the bottom of it and I guess that's supposed to tell your fortune. So each time you eat one, you get like a something. You get something, I don't know. I'm, I'm not superstitious, so. It's okay. It's okay. It's a lot better than the other ones. Okay. Still like the three though. A three? Okay. Up next we have the Tokyo Revengers wow. chewing gum. So Tokyo Revengers uh, has been really popular in the Japan crates recently. Got some Tokyo Revengers, I think like right there. Uh, energy drink. Last last box. But this one is gum. Here you I go. I don't know the dude. We we don't watch Tokyo Revengers, Oops. unfortunately. So But um, I'm pretty sure people will know Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know this also. This is gum, so we're gonna save this for her for later. Oops. Oh, okay. It's gonna toss it over there. Okay, anyways, we have the whistle gum. These are fun. So these they come in like lifesaver looking candies inside. Um, these are pretty fun. Uh, traditional whistle candy has come with a whole new purpose. This candy turns into gum after you're having fun. Oh, that's new. Oh, it's a little... Ew. <laughs> like banana. That? So yeah, you put it in your mouth and then you... Anyways, yeah. Then it turns into gum. Oh, it's yeah. banana flavor. Don't like it. Okay. But... Not, not a fan of banana flavored gum. Um... The candy itself was always really fun. I've had better flavors, so maybe it's just this one. But um, I like these, so I've them before. Okay, cool. The long chew cider. So this is another taffy long, another long um, thing you can try. Here you go. A long taffy textured chewy candy in cider flavor that's great for sharing with friends or stashing away for a New Year's goal cheat day. I don't have cheat days. Every day is my cheat day. I need help, please. Okay, here you go. Just thank you. There you go. I just drooled. The payoff wasn't that good. <laughs> um, for the work I just committed, that was not worth it. Um, I get two. A two. The flavor's okay, and the fact that I had to chew that hard made me sad. All right, uh, next up we have the do-it-yourself snack here. Um, oh. I have no. It's just. It's like it's just a big. It's a jelly. You're making a giant jelly. It's a fat duck. What? Penguin. What? What is he? Let me see him. I don't know. Every Japan Crate premium box comes with a do-it-yourself snack. So this one is basically a gelatin. It's a huge jelly. Yeah, so you get to make a little jelly here. Uh, obviously, you know, this looks really fun. They are fun. These are really fun to do with yourself, by yourself, or with your friends or family or whoever's. But these videos already go on for so long, so we're gonna skip this. But when you get your Japan Crate, just to let you know, these are really fun, so try them out. All right, next we have two more. We have the Kit Kat and the drink. So this month's flavored Kit Kat is coffee. I know someone who will like that. Me! Yeah. I love coffee. Uh, she does I not. And this coffee. uses a Nescafe Gold Blend, actually. Ooh, yeah. So it actually uses uh, Nestle's branded coffee. Yeah. Well, I mean, Kit Kat is from Nestle, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, here you go. So I'll try one. each uh, Japan Crate Premium Box always comes with a special edition flavored Kit Kat. For those who don't know, Japan has a wide variety of really cool flavors of Kit Kats. Um, in here in the US, we usually just get like chocolate, Basic milk flavors. chocolate, strawberry maybe. Uh, but like Japan has all kinds of Kit Kat flavors and so this is one of them. Cheers. There you go. That's actually pretty good. You can't really taste that much coffee. Mm -mm. It's like very... It's more nutty. Is it's more... No. Mini chocolate. So. 
The description here is a mini chocolate bars with just the right amount of sweetness and the perfect aftertaste of a freshly mild gold blend coffee. Take a break during the holiday madness with a coffee infused Kit Kat so you won't regret it. So it almost, it's not too sweet, so it almost tastes like a dark chocolate. It kind of tastes nutty, but it's like, is there nuts in there? There is no nuts, but it has that like rich chocolate flavor. It's like a rich chocolate. So this is actually pretty good. Uh, it doesn't taste too much like coffee. Yeah, the coffee. The coffee's very subtle. It's definitely more in the aftertaste rather than the initial like punch of the snack. But um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well it I says that it's it. a, it's a, a, the gold blend coffee is actually considered mild. So maybe that's why we can't really taste uh. it that much. So that was really good. I liked it a lot, but of, of course I'm not rating it. What do you think? For a coffee tasting item, I thought that was pretty good. It was like a four. I would, oh, wow. I would eat that and she not usually, be like, yeah, she, whenever there's like a coffee flavored thing, she just like, nope, she usually gives it a one, sometimes a two, but this, that's pretty good for, for I something. I because I couldn't taste the coffee. <laughs> I guess so. Cool, nice, nice, nice. The last thing is the drink. So wow. we always end the unboxing with the drink. This is an energy drink from Skull. I like their milk drinks. Here you go. Yeah, so, so Skull, they have a, a really good tasty drinks. Yeah, so this one, let me see. Uh, the first of its kind of Japan, this carbonated oh. milk-based soda is here with a twist. Uh, feeling burned out of the holiday activities, take a few sips of this limited edition skull and be refreshed all day long. Ooh. All right, see how it tastes? It smells like monster. <laughs> it's an energy drink. By the way, uh, no. I'm assuming this uh, is supposed to be served cold, uh, but... Oh, no. Uh, it tastes like the color blue. What? It tastes like the color blue. What What does the color blue taste like? It tastes blue. Okay. And I don't like that. Okay. It, it tastes like blue. I don't know, I don't what, know blue what that tastes means. like, but it tastes like it's blue. Is it blue? No, it's white. Uh, I'm assuming you did not like no, that. I'm no, 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 no. Yeah? No. I had other energy drinks. I don't like that one. So? I don't like that. That's a clear one out of five bunnies. Okay, one out of five bunnies for the Skull Energy Drink. That's so sad. This is all subjective. This is all her opinion. She doesn't like coffee. There's people who love coffee. There's people who I'm sure love... The color blue. <laughs> tasting the color blue. <laughs> you know, uh, she doesn't like the uh. taste of the color blue. But yeah, so that's going to be our unboxing of the month of January of the year 2023. Yay! Welcome to the new year, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the next 11 months of this uh, year. awesome year. You know, try these out yourself. Go to japancrate.com. Use code DPITY to order yourself your own Japan Crates premium box. They have all kinds of uh, different themes throughout the year. Sometimes February gets Valentine's Day. So, um, we get Halloween flavored themed candies in October, etc, etc. Sometimes we get like fancy anime or video game related things. Yeah, like we had a Persona 5 Royale mm -hmm. uh, box uh, not that long ago. And so, you know, Japan Crate, they collaborate with all types of uh, video game companies and so on and so forth. So they're really cool people. Support them Thank and you. use code DPITY to support us. Yeah. Save yourself $3. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Happy New Year, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Ready?